Uh, what's it been like being back here and, you know, Class A with all these guys that are just starting out? It's something that is, I, I've been enjoying it. Um, you know, something that uh, um, it, wasn't in my, it wasn't in my plan, you know, pretty much after, you know, your career's kind of long enough. Play 15 years in a big league, and uh, you know, sometimes you need some rest. You know, enjoy some time with your family. But you know, the family start getting, uh, you know, kind of old. You know, my my oldest one he just got drafted and is playing ball. Um, my youngest one is going to high school uh, in in Orlando. So, and now I only got you know my little girl with me back at home and my wife. So, um, pretty much just kind of feel lonely there. And uh, you know, I was doing some stuff back in Puerto Rico, and it's in the baseball wide, working in high school, um, you know, doing some clinic and coaching, so I semi, semi-pro. And, um, you know, into last year, before last season, uh, the Padres, you know, called me in, and he said that uh, they asked me if I want to be, a, you know, back in, into the game, be as a manager, and, uh, and you know, I just kind of, I didn't hesitate, you know. Um, you know, I, I was out for five or six years. And uh, it was something that I was feeling like it's something that I was needed. You know, I was kind of hoping that somebody just give me a call, get a chance to be a coach, uh, and try to work myself up or again to the big league and try to be a big league coach in, uh, in the mayors again. But, uh, you know, that was something that uh, this is my second year as a manager in here in this level in Midwest. And it's been great. And it's been great, you know, enjoying uh, you know, all the time spent with, uh, with the young players, teaching how to play the game of baseball. And not only that, but, uh, you know, just you know, kind of get renewed some, uh, with ex-teammates, you know, looking around. Now they're, they're in scouts. Uh, there's some ex-teammates that I'm not, I'm be, I have to be uh, managed against them. And uh, it's been great, you know, something that uh, um, I is having fun and hopefully that's something that uh, you know, keep me in the game for a long, a long time and hopefully I find a spot in, in the big league as a coach. So that's the ultimate aspiration with this is to work your way back up to the big leagues the second time, this time as a manager? Yeah, for the second time in my career and now I'm doing this as a manager. And I did that when I was a player, you know, I worked myself up as a player going to the big league. And uh, that, that is something that will take time, you know. I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy because, you know, you have to deal with 25 guys. Um, you know, a lot of guys immature and, you know, doesn't know how to play the game of baseball yet. I mean, as a professional level, you know, there's a lot of young kids coming out of high school, you know, with a lot of, you know, a lot of tools, but immature, you know. So it's something that uh, it takes a lot of time. Uh, it's a lot of hard work and, I, like, people think it is, is, is not easy like people think it is, you know. But... Uh, I think it's easy to be a player than be a coach, you know, deal with players like this. But it's, it's fun for me. I mean, I enjoy it. I mean, I enjoy being in the field every day, hit some ground balls, throw some BP, um, you know, be in the game, kind of sweat, and, and go through hard times, you know, like, uh, but it's, it's a lot of good time too. So, and I really, I really enjoy this time. How hard is it after being able to be in control when you were a player to have to sit back and just hope you've taught the guys well and that they're ready to execute when the game time comes now? It's hard. It's hard because, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, as my feeling when I, when I played the game of baseball it was not only winning, but I always go up there and try to get more, I mean, everything that I can get myself into a game and try to help a team to win. And, uh, and it, it, when you play this game for, you know, to win, is now playing now being in the minor league which is more like make players than winning you know that's something that is hard you know it takes some times you know because uh as a manager you want you know you want to win you like to win and you hate to lose but also you know you got to make sure that you're dealing with guys that that um they're fresh you know they're not really quite prefer to be uh you know, playing the level of baseball as a professional player, uh, you know, there's a lot of mistakes in players, you know, more mentally than physically, and that is something that uh, sometimes it frustrates on yourself, but, uh, you know, you have to go back and say, well, you know, when I was a player, and in that age, I was the same player that those guys are, and I make a lot of mistakes, and now I just kind of, you know, kind of regroup, kind of take it easy, take a deep breath, and, and try to explain those guys how to, you know, how to do it. So, but, uh, you know, my first year was kind of hard. It was kind of hard because, you know, and got no experience about how it is. But that is my second year, you know, I learned how to do it. Um, you know, it's been a lot easier. And uh, like I said, I'm, I really enjoyed every single moment of it. And how much, you know, these guys are trying to get where, where you were. How much do you sit back and tell them stories about the big leagues, just to kind of dangle that carrot out there and remind them why they're doing this? Well, I mean, um, sometimes I give some, you know, tips and about experience, you know, when I went through it. And uh, 
I, I talk more the hard ways, you know, the hard time that I have than, than, than the good ones because I want, I want them to feel the pain first, you know, how hard it is to get up here, to get it to the big league. So, I mean, nothing easy in life, you know, and, uh, and it's not that uh, you don't have to hit 300, 30 home runs and drive 100 RBIs every day, I mean, every year. So it's about be smart, you know, be consistent, know how to play the game of baseball. Just do what the managers or what whatever people in the organization ask you to do. You know, not try to do too much. You know, guys already got some skills. It's about just make the you know perfection and be consistent. You know, um, it just go up there and try to be a team uh, a team player. You know, not be selfish, not try to do everything by yourself. Just use your teammates and play the game the way it's supposed to be. You know, play hard. Um, you know, game baseball is not easy. You know, it's, you're gonna go through hard times. You're gonna go through hard. I mean, good times. But uh, it's about how you control yourself. You know, just you gotta. Also, you gotta. You know, you, it's, it's a long season. You know, guys doesn't play 160 game in high school like they're playing here. They're playing every day in high school. You play once or do twice a week. So it's a lot of things they have to go through it that uh, they're not used to it. So. Um, you know, sometimes I, I, you know, I talk to them and I, I let them know how to take care of your, you know, yourself as a, you know, mentally, physically, you know, much rest, how much you have to work and, you know, lift in and, and do some work, you know, early workouts, uh, extra work and you know, stuff like that. So, um, but uh, like I said, I mean, those guys, they, they really want to go up there. Um, but uh, it's how much they want to do it, you know, because like I said, you know, you, a lot of guys go, and go up there and go strike out. Pitch is going to get hit. You're going to give us some home runs. As a defensive player, you're going to make some errors. So it's, it's something that happens no matter how it's going to happen. But it's how much you want to be consistent. It's how much you want to get better every day as a player. And it's how much you want to learn. So that's, and I think that's the biggest part of it. And, you know, you spent your first eight years of your big league career here in the state of Wisconsin. I heard you had quite a few fans waiting for your autograph yesterday. I guess how much do you remember of your time in Milwaukee or how much do you appreciate that time you spent in Milwaukee and those Brewers fans? It's, it's a lot of good memories. I mean, it's something that uh, – you never forget, you know, I mean, that was my first big league team in my career. You know, that was the team that had given the opportunity to be the player that I was in my career. And, uh, you know, you, you can never forget those moments, you know. Not only that I, you know, I played at Old County State and I played in the new one, but uh, not as a, as a home guy. I play as a visitor guy. But uh, that is something that, has, you know, on the way here, you know, drive through Middle Park, um, you know, I used to live in Germantown, you know, I used to, uh, I bought my house, you know, I, I lived three years in Germantown when I was a player here. You know, it's something that uh, it touched, you know, it touched itself. And, uh, you know, I see my, you know, my kids kind of grew up here for three years, you know, and uh, I met a lot of good friends that I still get in contact with them. And uh, it's always, it's, it's always nice to come back here and uh, and be around, you know, all the, I mean, all the good memories and, uh, and that's something that I always going to be in my, in, in my, you know, in my heart, and uh, I will never forget. Just finally, 1987, I believe it was. You played Class A baseball with the Padres. How much has Class A baseball changed from 1987 to 2013? Well, uh, it changed a lot. I mean, it's a completely different ball game. Um, you know, stadiums-wise, is this is is amazing. You know. When I was in this level and as a player, you know, I never got my locker. You know, we never got clubhouse. We never take showers after you get in the ballpark. We always come from the hotel, dress to the park, and then after the game, just pick your bag and go back to the hotel and then take a shower here. Um, you know, sometimes I was doing, I was doing my, you know, I was doing the ground crew too. You know, I was gonna have to do take care of my spot when I was playing shortstop. But now, you know, you got ground crews. You know, they're one in the fields, padding in the outfield. Uh, full houses and uh, on the seats, you know, the fans, the stadiums, everything changed. I mean, there's something that I, um, that's what I sometimes I told those players, you know, when I was, I, I, in my times, it was nothing like this. And now you guys got everything, weight rooms in the clubhouse, I mean, food after games is something that, you know, we, I don't have those. Now. It's, I don't know, it's, it's so easy now, it's so easy now. So then, then it used to be, and uh, that's why, that's, that's what I'm trying to just give the message to those guys. I mean, now it's easy, and this is something that one uh, is coming only once of time life. You don't don't waste it. You know, just go hard. Just go hard every day. Try to you know give it more 100 percent. Go up there and play hard, and see what happens the next day. But uh, you know, that's something that uh, it's it's so much you can tell to the players. It's how much you can teach them about it. 
But what the time is have to do it, they have to go up there and do it themselves. So it's how much you want to do it. And, uh, you know, I do my part. I do all my best, you know, try to help those guys. It's about just go for them to go up there and execute and, and do their job.